We are so close to 2017 and that's why I brought my top 10 best applications for you guys. Some of them are old but they are so good that I had to mention them. So hey everyone, TC here and in this video I'll be showcasing some applications that you must try in 2017. Let's get started. The first application is Fingerprint Quick Action. As the name suggests, with this application you can perform certain actions with your fingerprint scanner. Just enable it and now you can expand the notification panel, put your phone to sleep and even launch some other applications. There are some extra actions that you can perform. However, this application may not work with every device with fingerprint scanners. Your device needs to have the required API level. Anyway, it's free and links in description. The next application is status. Ok, so you wanted to customize your status bar for a long time. But that needed root access and exposed framework. Well, not anymore. With this application you can do the same without root. Opening the app, you need to approve some permissions and then comes the home page. Enable the service and you will see that the status bar is now changed. Later on, you can change the way it looks by changing the icon positions, colors and some extra options. You can hide an icon, change the size and even the style can be changed. There are some application based options too but they are limited. Check it out, it's free. The third application is Powerline. This application helps you to get some smart indicators in your status bar or anywhere on the screen. With Material Design UI, you can show your battery stats, CPU, memory, Wi-Fi signal and few other options. Not only that, you can change the attributes of those lines according to your need. Yeah, with those extra lines your status bar looks messy but you can change the line thickness too. Frankly, this is not really a helpful application for everyone but sometimes it can be useful. So worth trying at least. It doesn't need root access and it's free. The next application is Native Clipboard. Basically, this application keeps all your copied text in memory. In this way, every single text that you copied remains saved. Just double tap in the text box and the clipboard will appear. Now select which one you want to paste and you are good to go. Believe me, this application is really handy if you want to use your keyboard in full efficiency. Check it out, it's free in the Google Play Store. The next one is Walls, which is a wallpaper application. It has wallpaper collection from Google+, Flickr, Bing, etc. and contains some great looking wallpapers and that too in up to 4K. It also features wallpapers from different OEMs which I personally love about this application. There are few categories which is a must for every wallpaper app in my opinion. With the pro variant you get some extra features but the free version is just fine. Check it out, it's free. The next application is Snap Swipe Drawer. With this application, you can add some extra widgets to its own notification drawer. Just approve some permissions and you will get some extra widgets and shortcut to place on it. In this way, you can remove clutters from your home screen and in return you will get a simple and clean page setup. And it works on any screen so you don't have to go to the launcher to get your information. The UI is also very smooth and fast. To improve your productivity, it is a must-have application for Android. The next one is a game actually. And in this game you are this block who jumps on these pillars. Sounds easy but believe me it's not. This is purely a physics based game and very addictive. And it already won the editor's choice for the iOS version in more than 80 countries if that means something to you. Check it out, it's free. The next application is Slide. If you know about Reddit then this is a must have application for you. Yeah, there are tons of clients out there but this one's a charm. With materialistic design and a clean UI, it became the most favorite Reddit client for me. There are options to change colors, themes, fonts, page layouts and so many things. It also backs up all your subreddits and settings on Google Drive so that's a very good thing. I bought the pro version but even the free one is good for you. Check it out, links in description. The next application is Weather Timeline. 
This is by far the best looking material design weather application in my opinion. Not only that, you get some huge customization options with this application. You can change the theme, the icon set, the units and many more things. And don't forget that those icons are animated and it has Android Wear support. In the advanced menu, you also get some extra features which are awesome. So by far, weather timeline is the most beautiful, simple and hugely customizable weather application for Android. And it's pretty accurate too. For 85 rupees, this application is a must have pick for Android. The last application in this list is, um, I don't know how to say this, but it's called 8A64. I hope I'm right. Anyway, with this application, you can see the configurations of your Android device. From the SOC to sensors and even the temperature, you can see all those infos in here in this application. Last thing is, you can see the codecs used and in some cases the partitions even. It's a clean and very useful application if you want to know everything about your Android device, hardware and software both. It's free in the Google Play Store. So guys, these are the applications for you to try in 2017. Which one did you like? Let me know in the comment section below. Anyway, hope you liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. And stay healthy, be happy, enjoy the holiday and I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Take care.